Hey everybody, today we are making a Mexican style picadillo. I grew up in the Midwest of the US and meat and potatoes were a regular combination served in my house. The thing is, a lot of times meat and potatoes can be kind of bland and boring. Um, they're always delicious, but you know, a little bland sometimes. But when you introduce Mexican flavors and Mexican style cooking to this dynamic duo, you come up with huge flavor. Picadillo was one of my favorites. Uh, I like to focus on a simplified version that focuses on the meat and potato combo, along with a nice level of spices and some different chili peppers to bring a nice level of heat to mine. This is definitely one of my favorites, so let me show you how to make it. I have my cooking station all set up here. So the first thing you wanna do is get a good sized pan, heat it up to medium heat, and we'll add a bit of olive oil to the pan. Heat that up just a touch. And we'll start with eight ounces of cube yellow potato. And I also have a good size onion that is diced to the pan here. And I'm using chili peppers, obviously. So today I'm cooking with a diced jalapeno pepper and also a diced serrano pepper for a nice level of heat for myself. Uh, I've seen a lot of people with their picadillo recipes using whole peppers. They'll add just a whole pepper into the pan and let it simmer with everything. So that'll bring a lot of that chili pepper flavor without bringing the heat. But I really love the heats as you, uh, you may or may not have known. So go ahead and cook this down for about five to six minutes to soften it up. And you can go a little longer if you'd like, but usually five to six minutes is good enough. All right, this is softening up nicely. I'm gonna give it a little bit of salt. A little salt as we go. And next we'll add a couple cloves of minced garlic. Give it a stir and we'll cook this down for 30 seconds to a minute until you can smell the gorgeous garlic blooming in the room. One of my favorites. And next we'll add a one pound of ground beef. We'll go ahead and break this up with a spoon, wooden spoon. And our goal here is to really just brown the beef. You only need to cook it for a few minutes until it gets browned up. You don't need to cook it all the way through as it's gonna simmer in a little bit. But go ahead and break it all up. All right, I've got my ground beef browned up fairly nicely here. So next we're gonna go ahead and add our seasonings and let those bloom. And these are my preferred seasonings. Here I have a tablespoon of paprika. You can use smoked paprika, hot paprika. And I have a tablespoon of Mexican oregano. And one teaspoon of ground cumin. A little freshly ground, big flavor. A little salt and pepper to taste. I do like a lot of black pepper. So go ahead and stir this into the pan. And you're gonna cook it down for about a minute or so. Kind of lets the uh, spices bloom a little bit in the heat here. You can smell it already. It's amazing, I wish you were here. But you kind of are, aren't you? So the next step here is to add some diced tomatoes. I've got two medium to large diced tomatoes and you can use canned tomatoes as well. Or even like tomato paste is fine with some water. I wanna get that tomato flavor. Tomatoes really are optional, but I love them in my picadillo. Just gonna cook them in here a bit. And I also have three quarters of a cup of beef stock. We're gonna add to the mix here. So get everything stirred together, nicely incorporated, like so. All right, so everything's nicely incorporated here, my friends. So we'll go ahead and reduce the heat, and I'm gonna let this simmer for a good 20 minutes to let the potatoes soften up, and it's gonna let all those flavors bloom. You can definitely include other ingredients in your picadillo. Uh, with Mexican style picadillos, some popular additions are corn, squash, or carrot. Um, other root veg are great. Uh, or you can go to other parts of the world like Cuba, where some real popular ingredients are olives, raisins, almonds. Also green peas are really popular. So let's talk about variations. So this is usually made with ground beef but you can actually make it with ground turkey or ground chicken for like a lighter version, not so heavy with the fattiness or the calories. Another favorite way of mine to make it is with chorizo. You can swap out the beef for chorizo or just add some chorizo in. It's a, a spicy ground pork, lots of seasonings to it, yum. 
Um, I also love to add black beans to mine sometimes, and that actually comes out a bit more like a chili, which I think is delicious, great on tacos. Um, and you can also use other seasonings here. So uh, one of my favorites is actually a combo of ancho and guajillo powder, or you can toast some chilies and then uh, process them up after you soften them and add them to the mix. It adds a really delicious flavor to a different style of picadillo. Look at this, look at how saucy this is. Oh, picadillo, I love you. You can enjoy this on its own, or you can serve it with some rice as sort of like a taco or burrito bowl, or on tortillas. Amazing. Boom, look at this, guys. Doesn't it look amazing? Yes. All right, let's give it a taste. Yes. Mm. This is so good. You guys are definitely Definitely going to love this picadillo. There we go, Mexican-style picadillo, my friends. I hope you love it as much as I do. I'd love to hear what you think in the comments below, and I'd also love to hear uh, if you're going to customize yours. Are you going to add some squash or some corn or peas? Uh, I'd love to hear that in the comments below as well. Hey, if you're looking for some other uh, delicious Mexican recipes, you got to try my Mexican rice recipe. It's very easy to make, very big on flavor, and it's a great side dish. Uh, but if you're also looking for uh, just amazing meat flavors, like a meaty dish, you gotta try out my Chili Colorado. It's actually very popular. Uh, a lot of people love to hear about the story of Chili Colorado. So uh, I'll link to that up in the uh, uh, up top here for you. So, all right, Mike from Chili Pepper Madness. I'll see you in the Chili Pepper Madness kitchen next time. Bye.